Today, we're gonna to be training some entries on the double sticks on the collie arm. So make sure to stick around all at the end of the video so that we get all four entries that I'm gonna be covering for today's training. Before we get training, make sure to do a couple things. Number one, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Number two, comment below. And number three, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not, click that subscribe button right now. Grab your collie sticks. Let's go ahead and get to our entries on the double sticks. If you do not have a pair of sweet collie sticks, that's okay. Just use whatever you can find that would represent some sticks for today. Then head over to our online store that you can find over at colliecenter.com and go order yourself a pair or two of some really good quality traditional rattan collie sticks. Let's go ahead and kick off with our first entry. But before we can actually operate the weapons, we got to be taking a look at what's going on with the feet. We're going to be working a little bit of some basic reverse triangle footwork. So from here, we're going to be standing right here on the center line of our opponent. Here, the collie arm is my opponent today. So from here, we're going to be stepping left 45, reverse triangle. And we're also going to be working the right 45, reverse triangle. We're training both sides today because we're using two sticks. We got equal length weapons, so we got to train a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other side as well. Make sure we kind of work that out. Make sure you got that footwork down. If you have to, just isolate a couple of reps, okay? Going both ways. Our first double stick entry is our scissors technique, or also known as a gunting. So we'll be working this on both sides of the body, just like this. So on our scissors, we're gonna be starting off right weapon high, left weapon low, and we're gonna be working our left side first, meaning the left reverse triangle, stepping to the left. As I step to the left, my left stick is gonna come up and it's gonna monitor the weapon. At the same time, my right stick is gonna come down and strike the hand of my opponent, right there at the same time, okay? So from here, we have right here. Monitor the weapon as you're striking the hand while you are stepping using your footwork getting off the center line off that line of attack or line of pressure so right there one of the key components to this one is making sure that the left weapon right now is monitoring or checking keeping our opponent's weapon in check that we don't want to be getting kind of lazy with this thing and then the weapon can come back through hit us or anything like that we have to make sure we're monitoring what our opponent's weapon is doing boom right there yeah, this is why on the collie arm, this is a great tool to be training your entries on because you get that resistance, a little bit of that resistance right there. Okay? So that way you got to make sure you keep that weapon in check. So right there. That's the basic entry. Now, once you actually execute that entry, then you can go ahead and follow up. Any kind of follow-ups that you kind of want to do for right now. So when you follow up, boom, right, you can follow up again to the hand. You can follow up right to the head, the knee, you know, however you want to follow up with slashes. You could also be following up with thrusts, just like that. So I'm gonna let you kind of play around with that with all the different follow-ups that you can be creative with. I want to make sure we're just kind of focusing on the entries. From right here, let's go ahead and get a couple reps in. I want you to get as many reps in as you possibly can. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the video somewhat moving here. So let's go ahead and do five reps right here. We have one, two, three, four, and five. Once we've worked this for a little while going to the left 45, it's starting to feel good. Coordination is getting developed. And then we wanna make sure we're working this going to the right 45. So everything's just going to flip. It's gonna mirror now. So we're gonna start off with the right stick in the low position and the left stick in the high position. I'm gonna step right 45 this time. As my right stick comes up to monitor the weapon, my left stick goes down to strike the hand. Boom, right there. All right, let's go ahead and get five reps in of going to the right. Entry number two is the roof, or also known as the sombrata. For our sombrata entry right here, we're gonna be starting off in this closed position just like this. Right stick on top. We're gonna to step to the right. The weapon's gonna come up. The right stick comes up, monitoring the weapon. Left stick sneaks in to strike the hand. So you're gonna notice a theme here on our collie entries, on the double stick entries. One stick 
is always monitoring the weapon of the opponent while the other one is striking the hand. Okay. So from here, we're going to step, boom, right there. Bop, right there. And then we can always work on different follow-up strikes as well. But again, let's just focus on the entries for now. Bop. Bop, right there. Something to make sure that you're looking for is that the footwork is really important. Watch the position of the left hand. As I strike, you want to make sure that your left hand is not ending at zero degrees. So we don't want to be, you know, kind of shallow like this, where the left hand is ending in the trajectory right there of the weapon. So we got to make sure it's not ending in zero degrees. It should be going all the way with you as you're moving to the right. So that way your your hand cannot get, you know, struck by, you know, maybe a, a vertical takedown strike or follow up like that. You know, and if they are going to start to swing, right, you got time to get your hand out of there. So a little key detail there to kind of pay attention to. That way you're making sure you're getting the technique right. Let's rep this one out five times going to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Bah! Let's rep it out five times to the left. Remember, it's going to switch position. Going to the right, our right hand was on top. Going to the left, now the left hand is going to be on top. Double stick entry number three is our deflection. Taking a look at the deflection, we're going to be using both weapons at the same time. You can start this off with uh, weapons on the same side of the body. That's probably the most easiest way to start this off. They could also be in the open position like this. Okay, So you can work it on both. Just play around with it. You can play around with some different variations on really all of these entries. Like the first one, our uh, scissors, we started off with one up, one down. But we can also still do this with both in the high position. Okay, sometimes I like to just kind of start off nice and easy like that. It just tells you that the weapons are doing different things. But you can still start this off just like this. Okay, you can work it off in your uh, different chamber positions just like that. So on number three, we've got the deflections right here. So we're working both weapons on the same side of the body right here. So we're stepping first to the right. Now, you can do a couple of variations of footwork here. You can work the reverse triangle. You can also start working some different variations of sidestepping. Then you can play around with it a little bit more, which you can do really on all of these. Okay. So from here, we're going to be taking the left weapon as I'm stepping to the right. It's going to be monitoring the weapon of our opponent. At the same time, the right weapon is striking to the hand of the opponent. So from here, one, right there, two, three, four. Five, right there. Again, you can always work your different follow-up strikes right there. Let's go and work a few reps going to the left with the footwork. Now, the right stick is going to monitor the weapon and the left stick is going right to my opponent's hand. Entry number five, this is going to be the weave coming right out of this heaven six type of striking pattern. Okay, this is one of the most infamous, most popular double stick drills in Kali, probably the most popular double stick drill in Kali, which is the heaven six. So we can also use this as an entry. So let's take a look at entry number four. We just call it the weave. All right, on the weave right here, we're going to be stepping off first to the right. We're starting off in the chamber position. So I gave you four different ones because they're all starting from different positions. We have our open position, we have our closed position, okay? and then we can kind of start playing with different variations of positions, right? And now we also are working out of that very common uh, chamber position right here, okay? So from here, we're gonna step off to the right. We're gonna strike to the weapon, and then we're gonna strike right there to the hand. And then the last one, I want you to kind of just go and work that follow-up. The follow-up can go to the hand again. It could be a second strike to the hand to make sure that thing's gone. Okay, then you can follow up to the body. Or it can go directly to the body just like that as well. Okay, now, on the weave entry, 
it's a little bit tricky in the beginning. And this is why I like using the arm for with the spring, because again, we get a little bit, a little taste of what the resistance would be like on our opponent's weapon. Okay, so a common mistake is that people are gonna follow through with this weapon like this, thinking that by striking the weapon, it's gonna open up the hand. And it's not, it's, it's not true like that, okay? We have to make sure that we're actually monitoring this weapon. Otherwise, as we hit the hand, the weapon can come back and strike us. So what this could represent is that if I'm just kind of going right for the hand and, we're, and I'm too close, you may get the hand, but the issue that we kind of forget about, especially in weaponry, is this thing called momentum. And even though we can hit the hand, that momentum of the weapon may be carrying through. And uh, if that's a blade, you can still end up getting uh, severely cut, severely wounded, just because of the momentum. So we gotta make sure that we are covering that momentum, right, of the weapon right there. So, boom, right there. Okay, and then you can follow it up, whatever you gotta do. Boom, follow it up to the hand, or follow it up right to the head. All right, so you can strike that out, follow it up to the hand, or from there, follow it up all the way up to the head. Now, something that's common that you, you might see when it comes to uh, the Weave or the Heaven Six being used as an entry is that they'll use both weapons to kind of follow up because it's you know easier, it's mechanically easier to hit the hand with the right stick there. Um, you can do that and that is valid. However, what I like to look at is why use both of your weapons on one when you can use the weapons a little more efficiently and go directly for that hand in that kind of more sneaky shot position coming up from underneath, right? And then you just keep yourself protected a little bit better. So both ways are valid. Sometimes you don't have that, so sometimes you may have to double it up on the weapon and then strike to the hand and then work your follow-ups. Um, you know, you may have to do that. However, I like going into the approach of using this tactic, going for the approach of the second strike being to the hand and then if I'm reading that and I'm not gonna get that, then I can go ahead and switch that over, renegotiate that to the weapon again. But it's a little bit harder if I'm already kind of set, the second one going to the weapon, it's a little bit harder to renegotiate that going to the hand. It's easier to pull it back than it is to start back and then firing it forward. Just a little, uh, little tip right there from good old Kylie Center. So of course we gotta get some reps in going to the left side as well. So we're gonna start off in that left chamber, striking number one, hitting that hand, and then obviously you can always work your follow-ups just like that. But these, these first two strikes, that is what's really important. All right, there you got it. Four double stick entries, working it out solo on the collie arm. If you do not have a collie arm, number one, they're very easy to build. And uh, number two is that uh, you can also work all of these just kind of solo in the air. So there's nothing wrong with that. You can work them all out. All right, very, very easy to work. Bop. Okay. Uh, you can also train these on a heavy bag and just use a little bit of that visualization to uh, kind of see where the weapons would be going, you know, how you're monitoring the weapon of your opponent, striking to the hand, and then working your follow-ups. Make sure that you are isolating the actual entries, okay? Get some isolation training in with that before you're starting to plug in the follow-ups. You wanna make sure you're getting these positions down that you're really developing those techniques, and then you can always work the follow-up combinations and all that stuff. If you wanna continue your training with me here at Kali Center and uh, really grow your Kali skills, take your Kali to the next level, make sure to head on over to KaliCenter.com and go check out my online 
online training. We've got some great double stick DVD downloads, great place to get your uh, double stick started. We've got two volumes, volume one, which is all solo training, and volume two, which starts to move into the partner training. You can also check out our online Kali Apex Training Academy over at our Training. I have a special going on right now where you can get access to my entire online school, meaning everything, all my courses, all my training programs at a sweet, sweet, low cost deal. I wanna get you in there, I wanna be your teacher, I wanna help you in your college journey, so that way you're getting the most out of your college training. And I'm really happy to be a part of that process with you. Remember to head over to colleycenter.com, go check out our training gear. If you need some collie sticks, go grab some collie sticks right on over there. We got great quality collie sticks, traditional rattan, they're awesome, they're fantastic. Make sure to get outside, let nature be your collie dojo, and I'll see you back here next time.